Welcome to my project Pasar Patkum. Now we discuss about identify and classify fault in power system using wavelet transform. It is the modified title of transmission line fault classification using wavelet transform. In this process, identifying power system failure using district wavelet analysis. Generate power using generator, then make a power system network. Faults were created at a line for one cycle and analyzes the signals before the realizing and switching of the circuit breaker. TWT is used to identify the fault power system failure is analyzed. Finally, type of so power fault is identified and differentiated. This identification is based on the TWT energy coefficient of the signal. It generates a high frequency component to signal. In this process, we applied the fault by using the summoning model and analyzes that fault by signal processing in guy. Now it is the flow diagram for our proposed system. In our proposed system, we get the result from simulating model as the test data and then load the test data and it is go to the future selection process. In the future selection process, we use the wavelet transformer. The wavelet transformer has gained widespread expertise in signal processing and image analysis. Because of their incurrent multi resolution nature, wavelet coding schemes are especially suitable for applications where scalability and tolerable Degradation are important. important. The wavelet transformer is computed separately for different segment of the time domain signal at different frequency. And multi resolution analysis analyzes the signal at different frequencies giving different resolution. Good for signal having high frequency command for short duration and low frequency command for long duration example signals and then the picture was selected, it go to the classifier process. In the classifier, we use RVM classifier. The classifier is used to used for identify the fault in the summoning model. We give the select future data and train future and true label. The true label will use to train the RVM classifier by based on the train future. The select future is compare with the train future and give it is a signal is fault or no fault or normal signal or abnormal signal in the rfm classify in mathematics a yeah, machine learning technique that use obtain solution for regradation and classification the rvm case are identical functional from to the support vector machine but provides probabilistic classification and it is the accurate classifier to classify the fault. Now I go to demo our project. First open the MATLAB and then right click the main.m file and run the file. Then the process window will be open. It is the load data button. It is the process button. It is the simulink go to the simulink model button. Now we select the simulink model button for go to the simulink model. In our summing model, first we give the three phase source voltage from voltage grid and it is go to the bus 1 and then it is go to the step down transformer and about the tra step down transformer the fault will be added. Then it will go to the step up transformer and then go to the bus 3 and it is go to the three phase parallel. Now we run the simulink model without fault and it will be stored as 1.mat and then the main process window will be open after the process then now we click the simulink button from the process window again the simulink model will be open and now we add the fault in a base and run the simulink model again if, and we change the name to .mat and the process is end the fault a will be stored the workspace and the process window will be open and now we select the summoning model we add the fault b and then run the summoning model and now 
it will be stored the three dot three dot mat from workspace and now we run again the simulink model and now we add the font in C base. Now it is stored at four dot m mat file. Now the simulink process will be over and the fault and no and no fault signals are stored in workspace. Now we go to the process window for analyzing the fault. The fault signal and no fault signals are stored in the MATLAB workspace. Now we analyze that signals. First load the signal. Now it is the our stored signal. Now I select the first signal. Then go to the press the process button to process the signal. Now the signal is no fault. Now I will load the another signal. Now I to tap number two, and then I process the signal. It is the A fault signal. Now the signal is the fault alert alert only in A. Then now we go to load the another signal, and then I run the signal. And that is the signal. The fault will be added only in B. Now, I load to another signal, and I now go to the process. Now it is the fault in C signal. So, and we go to the another process. We would select the simulink button, or now I go to exit the command window. Now. If if uh, we select the exit button to exit the process window, and it is and it will we make a unsimilar model to find the fault. We order a fault in separate, and now we analyze the fault by using the image process and to find out the fault. Now I go to the exit button to exit the process. Thanks for watching video.